I feel like a lot of YouTubers and content creators are going to come from my head once they see what's in this bag. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mao. I'm just a regular guy that's trying to follow his dream to be a full-time content creator. So Mao, what's in your bag that's going to cause so much outrage within the community you may ask? Well, let's just dive into it. What I got in this bag is none other than the base model MacBook Air M3, 8GB RAM, 256GB SSD. You heard that right. If you're thinking, Mao, why not 16 gigabytes? Why not 512, one terabyte? That's not acceptable in 2024. The madness, I totally agree with you. Kinda. Well, here's the thing. After countless sleepless nights, I pondered the idea of why not just spend the extra $400, just upgrade to 16 gigabytes of RAM, just get the 512 F SSD, why not just go out future proof myself and not have to worry about it for a couple years the thing is once you start spending those 400 dollars then you look at the next step up you're looking at the macbook pro 14 inch 18 gigs of ram m3 pro m3 pro chip then you're like oh it's only like another two three hundred dollars why not just go that route why just not completely future-proof myself this is the go-to laptop for content creators this is the meta of meta within the community why not just go that route well as you can tell i quickly went down that rabbit hole that is apple pricing and how they essentially price their products for upgrades to where it only seems like you're spending an extra two three hundred dollars but you're getting a much better product when in return, I went from spending about $1,000 to now spending around $2,000. So that's a 100% increase. So giving Apple more money just to validate something that everyone else is opinionating, not based on what I'm going to be using the product for, just seemed kind of crazy. The thing is, I didn't start thinking that way until... I went on a two mile walk with my dog Ghost and I started thinking about it. I'm like, Mao, you spent boatloads of money on your custom built PC. You have a, man, 48 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD, 5900X Ryzen chip, and a Radeon RX 6800 XT. I spent a shit ton of money on this computer. Why go and spend another boatloads of money on the Meta of Meta, which is the MacBook Pro 14 inch in my eyes. I guess you could go 16, but that's too heavy to kind of carry around in my opinion. But regardless, why am I gonna go spend all that money on a beast machine when I do all my editing at home? right here so now we're back at square one what do i need this laptop for one portability two something to use to edit something quick or work on a project when i'm not home when i'm at work or when i'm out and about and when i mean edit something when i'm not home by no means am i some super editor with a bunch of transitions color grading film grain, all this crazy stuff on the timeline, by no means am I at that point right now in my, this career. I am just starting out. I am getting used to basically adding transitions to it and kind of developing and treating it more as a, as a project than just cutting something up, putting a song to it and voila. I'm just your average guy who has a hobby in YouTube that is trying to pursue a career in this. So after telling myself that, I had finally came to my decision. And after countless hours scouring YouTube, Reddit, to validate this theory, I finally became content with my decision. With this MacBook M3 I have shown in that background, I'll be able to more than enough handle my day-to-day -day workload be able to, to grind out my videos, be able to check my emails, do a little bit of photo editing, do some um, 
logos, build my Shopify site if I need to do one, push my Amazon seller account. I'll be able to do everything that I want to do with this computer and it's not a hole in my pocket for spending the extra thousand dollars for the pro model. With myself getting this base model M3, I did make a promise for myself. I made a promise to myself stating that once I start bringing in some money from either content creation or through online online selling on platforms such as Amazon, eBay, etc. And I can finally afford to spend that extra money since I'm going to be a more power, power user. Then I'll go ahead and justify that, whether that's two years down the line, three years down the line, or until this thing slows down and I need to upgrade to the M6, M7, whatever the case is. With this promise as well, with the money that I didn't spend on getting the pro model, I can go ahead and invest in, in this channel into my hobby, into what I want my future to be, right? So that means grind out more content, maybe buy another pair of shoes to review on, maybe buy some new threads, whatever the case may be. But those extra thousand dollars, I'll be able to invest more into myself than into one single product and expand that and turn that into something else that I can essentially grow my business into. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to put my head down, grind. All this sacrifices to be able to make better content for you, the YouTube viewer, and to my subscribers, whenever that case be. But I'm going to treat this as my full-time job, even though I have a job outside of this. So me treating this like a full-time job and taking it serious, this, this go around, I guess you could say, that's what's gonna propel me to success. It's not gonna be whatever machine I got on my desk. It's not gonna be what camera I got. It's gonna be the consistency day to day to be able to grind. And I want anyone else in a similar situation where you're just trying to figure it out. You're just trying to get into content creation. Don't make the same mistake. Don't go shell out hundreds or thousands of dollars for the latest, greatest, top of the line, recommended, YouTube equipment. Yes, the MacBook Pro, M3 Pro chip, M3 Max, 14 inch, 16 inch, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive. Yeah, that's all better, but you gotta put it in, into perspective. What are you gonna use it for right now? For me, and I know this goes for a lot of people out there as well, we don't need the latest and greatest thing just now. We just need something that we can essentially use in the time being to be able to take the next step. So yes, I bought the base model MacBook Air M3 in this beautiful space gray finish. And I will be making content and growing my business straight from this laptop, whether that be this desk or my desk at work or on the go on the beach somewhere, hopefully. I will be definitely giving you guys a one month update of me using this machine and grinding out content. I will be editing this video specifically from this laptop and gonna try to use it as much as I can to kind of give a good, good one month update, but something believable to where I'm gonna use, uh, use it the way I wanna use it, right? I'm not gonna sit here and go put 30 layers on this timeline or anything crazy. I'm gonna just do what I've been doing and kind of learn and progress from there, try more things. And if it becomes to the point where maybe it, I've outgrown it in that month, then I'll definitely let you guys know. That way you guys don't make the same mistake, right? But right now I'm content with my decision. We're gonna keep this ball rolling and we will see whether my theory was right or wrong but until then make sure to comment subscribe comment whether you think i'm crazy with whether you think i'm unhinged or if i'm making complete sense i don't know at this point i'm not even sure anymore but i digress until next time youtube this is mal logging out